Hello and welcome. Who is in branding? Who is in selling? Everybody is actually branding himself or herself and selling when it comes the most vital point. And interviews are the most vital point where you need to sell yourself and sell effectively. So let's understand how to sell yourself in a very specific environment interview. So when you are invited to an interview for a job, it is important to present yourself in a way that highlights your professionally desirable skills, experiences and attributes. While many people are aware of the need to sell yourself to a potential employer, it can be challenging to put this idea to practice when preparing for an interview. This particular shoot will definitely give you the concept of selling yourself and provide you tips on how to craft an image and story that can increase your appeal to a hiring manager. So what is selling yourself in an interview? Selling yourself in an interview means taking steps to convince the hiring manager that you would be a valuable company asset. When you meet an interviewer, make it a goal to present yourself as the best person for the job. Imagine yourself as a marketer or salesperson and the product you need to convince a client to buy is you. How to sell yourself in a job interview? When aiming to sell yourself in a job interview, it is crucial to prepare and practice ahead of time. In addition to standard practices such as researching the company, developing a strong resume and securing references, here are four steps you can take to convince a hiring manager that working with you is the wisest decision for their company. Get comfortable talking about yourself. Tailor yourself to meet company needs. Practice your talking points. Distinguish yourself from the competition. First, let's discuss get comfortable talking about yourself. Give yourself permission to talk about yourself positively and to take pride in your accomplishments. You can practice the skill before the interview by talking into a mirror, asking a friend to listen or just talking out loud to yourself while you are doing another task. One technique that can help you get comfortable talking about yourself is putting metrics with your achievements. Make a list of specific things you achieve, like how much money you saved on a project, the percentage by which you reduce staff turnover over a certain period of time, or exactly how much sales increased under your leadership. This will add a level of objectivity to your statements. Another way to get comfortable speaking about yourself is to project confidence during your interview. A confident attitude will show the potential employer that you know you are a good fit for that particular position. You can appear confident through your tone of voice and body language and you will feel more confident the more prepared you are. Second, tailor yourself to meet company needs. One of the most important sales tactics is to know your customer. In the case of selling yourself for an interview, it is vital that you understand the potential employer's needs and desires to an extent, to the best of your ability. Read the job description. This is the most most vital thing and I keep saying it so vociferously. Investigate the company's history. Very important what the company is, where, when was its inception what it is into, how long it has been existing, what are the services, products or engineering it has to offer to anybody. And when it is you who is making a point as a job aspirant, it becomes very pertinent for you also to take a note of this and learn about its corporate culture. Ask yourself what does the company need from someone in this particular role? Having understood the job description? Now understand the job profile and when you have understood both, you would definitely decipher on the keywords that are needed for you to map it with your own skill sets, your traits, your abilities and establish as a role best fitting for that particular job. 
after developing your answer be sure to craft your answers to common interview questions in a way that showcases your understanding of their position and your unique ability to fulfill their needs number 3 plan your talking points what do you mean by this is when you have keywords already known jotted down from job description you need to put it sequentially and remember it sequentially how will you remember it as a nicer way to keep it sequentially and keep it to the memory and practice it so that the steps are by hearted if you are going to do it a practice in front of the mirror this is just a general way to master it so it becomes easy for you to deliver it when it is required during the interview write down exactly how you are the best candidate choosing words that align with the qualities the employer is seeking and where to seek from is job description document to refer to memorize your main points so you can discuss them naturally don't make it as that you know you're thinking something on the back of your mind and recalling and doing it instead if you have practiced enough it should come to you as second habit or a second nature that means naturally and not a uh, made up preparation and practice that's the reason becomes very very important this will help you to sell yourself smoothly in any interview one way to practice your talking points or your sales pitch is to develop a 30 second elevator speech i think we have already dealt with elevator pitch or elevator speech in one of our video which you can refer to now prepare this 30 second elevator pitch or a speech about yourself 30 second to 1 minute is a good good time for you to click and make an impression with the interviewer you can create a personal summary by combining the key highlights of your experience in 25 words or less but this is a choice to you how many words you want to incorporate in your elevator pitch or speech but make it as brief as less than 1 minute anything which is 30 seconds to 60 seconds is a good elevator pitch your goal here is to stay on topic and make every word count one possible structure of your speech is an introduction followed by career objective and accomplishment that set you apart from other candidate remember many candidates who are appearing there would have a specific journey of their academics and would also have some points derive to make them define career objective how you get different is definitely you need to have a lot of insights about your journey of academics what you have taken home what you have learned and earned in terms of your technical skills and converted it to a nice career statement career objective statement a professional statement to help you that extra edge and make you stand apart for maximum impact keep your audience in mind you are talking to the interviewer the employer the recruiter so you need to keep things and speak those words which are very important which are job descriptive driven so keep the audience in mind and avoid vague terms like loyalty courteousness kindness unless you can relate them directly to the job because if you say that you are confident you are loyal you have a great integrity you are highly courteous it has to be exhibited and it requires some kind of a certificate which you cannot deliver when asked if your industry uses portfolios consider taking advantage of this tool to demonstrate your talents a well organized display of your accomplishments can help you remember your talking points and showcase your professional skills number 4 distinguish yourself from the competition how you do it is try to ask question that show you have researched the company in advance you might ask about the company's products or plans for the future consider tactfully sharing something positive about your experience with the company as a consumer if you can you could even present some ideas for a new product or service provided if you have done a good homework 
Hiring managers may interview dozens of people for a particular position. So try to make them remember you in a professional way that stands out different apart. To apply these tips appropriately, consider the position you're applying for and your qualification as you begin. You will find that advanced preparation helps you to relax as you begin your interview. I hope I'm making a sense with this particular show to sell yourself, right? And if you have mastered with a lot of practice, record it once and see it for yourself whether you are breaking the ice or not. If you are, then I think you are almost ready. But believe me, be yourself and believe in yourself. If you know that you have understood the art of selling yourself, then you can anytime exercise and deliver. So sell yourself more effectively this time. Great luck. Thank you.